Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to talk about ZBrush, ZBrush 2020, and how to get that set up for a tablet. Uh, we're going to talk about the benefits of using a two-button stylus like the Raphael 520, as well as the Artist Pad. Uh, we're also using the Tablet Pro Pen Tool to remap these side buttons here, and I want to kind of explain uh, why and how these things work together and what improvements you can get in ZBrush using this type of setup. And uh, we're also going to show how to get rid of this really nasty lag. And it'll go from that to this with just the change of a setting. So stay tuned and we'll get to that near the end. So here we're going to talk about um, how navigation works here uh, with the pen tool. I have the front button set to alt and the back one set to uh, hover right click. And so you can see here, I do this, and Alt here. Let's go ahead and change this. I just like seeing all the different colors of everything. All right, so in order to get this set up, here and I'll go through this navigation here. So, okay, so this is Zoom. And the cursor does need to be on the canvas. If it's off the canvas, it'll perform something different. And that just may mean that you need to tap in a blank space. And then here's rotate. You can rotate directly over the canvas. This is using the right click navigation. Um, if you have alt down already, you can use this to pan while you're over the model. So let's zoom in, hold down, move over, uh, adjust the pen size. And um, let's go ahead and divide this and turn on Dynamesh. And now I have these set and uh, just so everyone knows, not that this is probably a mystery, I'm not good at ZBrush. I'm still learning a lot of really basic things. Um, to map these to a different hotkey, so you just hold the pen over here, you tap on this button, it'll say, press a key to map. Um, and I have these, just these black buttons, or gray buttons right here, mapped to different things. So uh, for smoothing, so let's say, uh, so I have these mapped already, and that's tap here, so you tap here, and then you press one of these and it'll map. Okay, so I have, and you can see here, damn standard, set here, uh, move, set to the next one, uh, trim dynamic, uh, insert primitive, I think that's what that's called, and then this is clay buildup. So, uh, and let's go ahead and... Alt. Now if you want to smooth, um, the way that these work right here, there's a one second toggle set on it. So it means you tap it and then you start using the brush. If you stop using the brush, when you start using the brush again, it's not going to have shift applied. So just tap and smooth. And we can add and subtract. And again, press, pull, And you can see how this uh, would work. So you have a lot of different options here. Again, this is not a perfect setup, but it is uh, wonderful if you're wanting to do ZBrush and you're out and about. Okay, so you tap these to get them to work. If the pen tip is already on the screen and you tap a button, um, you can start using Alt that way or Shift that way as well. Same thing with Control. Okay, so that's ZBrush. That's how the pen tool works. Um, again, looking at setting up the pen tool, that it icon is down here. You can find this in the Windows Store. All right, so let's go ahead and look at how we get rid of that navigation lag. Preferences, memory is not it. It's performance. Um, some people said turn multi-draw off, and that does make it better, but actually bringing the max threads down uh, from eight to six and possibly even seven was fine. Completely got rid of it. So that lag uh, is no longer there and it's usable now, which is fantastic. So one thing with this fix is that it doesn't store. It will not update properly. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to change a line in the default script. So program files, Pixelogic, ZBrush, I have ZBrush core, but ZBrush 2020, Z scripts, default script, and your script should look like this. 
So it's just this one line right here underneath file name set next. You're going to insert this line and save the file. All right, so let's talk about getting pressure sensitivity in ZBrush. Um, let's close the light box. All right, and I love this now. This is such an easy way to understand where you're looking. Uh, so here, we're gonna draw on here. And you can see this turn with us. And let's zoom in. And I'd like you to notice light and heavy pressure. Okay, in order to get this set up, uh, you need to install the WinTab driver. And in the description of this video, I'll have the WinTab driver, the ZBrush INI file for Tablet Pro, um, and the installer for Tablet Pro, although I highly, highly recommend that you watch the install video, install guide, just to make sure that you understand how to get set up with this. Now, if you're having problems with uh, ZBrush pressure, uh, one thing that you want to keep in mind is that it does actually uh, matter where you store the files in ZBrush. So if you have, uh, let's go ahead and go back. If you have your, your personal files stored in the same directory here, when you load it up, it should keep pressure. If you have your files stored somewhere else, then a lot of times ZBrush, a lot of times ZBrush will lose pressure sensitivity. So keep that in mind. Uh, I know this drives a lot of people crazy uh, trying to figure out how to do that. So keep your files in the same directory, the default directory that ZBrush uses. Okay, so one thing that you're gonna want to do to smooth out the performance here, go to devices, mouse, additional mouse options, pointer options, display pointer trails, you wanna turn that on, click it to short. Uh, when that's not uh, when that's not on, uh, this movement right here is not smooth. It's a little choppy. All right, so let's jump into what we need to do to get Zebra set up. Uh, number one, saving your preferences. You need to go into here. Once you have this scaled the way you want, go into preferences, config, save UI, and store config. Both those things need to be done. You need to have the artist pad open before you launch ZBrush for it to open the way you want. So you don't have to constantly be scaling everything. There's still problems, but that seems to be the most consistent way for me to get it to work. In order to get ZBrush to scale, you're going to tap here and then up here, you can drag in this area that has the drag icon and then down in this corner here and drag it out to the side. So it fills this when it's not in full screen mode. I now have the WinTab driver uh, as well as um, other programs in the zip file attached to the description of this video. So you can go there and instead of searching around the internet, it's the um, standard WinTab for Windows 10 um, that was provided by Microsoft a couple of years ago, actually. I think there may be a different one now, but uh, I find this one works well. So there's one remaining problem here that I'm unaware of how to fix, and that's if you want to draw a dot, uh, you have to draw in a larger circle. You, like, you can't just tap the screen and have it make a dot. And this used to work in previous versions of Windows. So if you go up here into Stroke and you turn off Lazy Mouse, Lazy Mouse um, is going to affect, the, affect this some. It does not fix it. Mouse average set to four um, with all of these things changed and off. Um, you still have the same problem. So if anyone knows how to fix this, please comment below. If you're looking at how to turn off uh, hold for right click, I'll do that real quick. I'll just type in uh, control panel. So hit Windows key, control panel, hardware and sound, pen and touch, and then these options are right here. And you go press and hold settings and turn that off. Um, touch. Some systems also require touch to be turned off. So we'll try that. And apply, apply, okay. And still the same problem. So this is not the solution, but for those of you who want to know how to do that, um, please comment below if you have a solution, if you know what, a way to fix this. And that would be greatly appreciated. If you use your tablet for digital art, 
or ZBrush, which I assume that you do because you have watched the video this far, then this is a great channel for you, so please subscribe. And uh, put any questions you have about ZBrush or digital art in the comment section, and I will see if uh, I can either dig up an answer or if I have one already. All right, thank you guys so much. Until next time, stay creative and happy ZBrushing.